Lucy Preston, Homeland Security. You need to come with me. You've got a hell of a reputation. History, anthropology. Master Sergeant Wyatt Logan, Delta Force. 3.30 p.m. May 6, 1937. Father, you're mad at it. You're telling me that this guy actually went back in time, for real, to the Hindenburg. You were our best option. To do what? Go after him? I think someone who loved history would want to save it. Our earliest prototype. She isn't fancy, but she works. Usually. Do you need to go with them? I can't. I am black. There is literally no place in American history that'll be awesome for me. Lucy. Rufus. I'm a pilot. Kind of. Kind of? Have you been drinking? Didn't know I was going to be working tonight, ma'am. Might want to hold on. Have you seen this man? Well, yes, he was here. He's working as ground crew. He's going to help bring down the Hindenburg. I think Flynn is trying to rewrite history. It could change the present in ways we can't possibly predict. What is it about her? My wife died. So when I saw Kate, that's all I can think about. It's gonna blow! I know everything about you. Just ask them why they chose you. I'm not sure you realize where you are, boy. I hope you live long enough to see Michael Jordan dunk, Michael Jackson dance, Mike Tyson punch, really just any black guy named Michael. Because the future is not on your side. I know what you're really meant to be. You're important in ways you can't even imagine. That's my handwriting, but I didn't write that. Not yet, but you will. Please excuse my nasally voice as I do this video. I've uh, come down with a cold, as has my entire family, so please do keep us in your prayers. But shout-outs go to my awesome brother James Morrison in the UK for letting me know of this brand new television show called Timeless. As I watched the trailer and saw what was going on, there is just a lot of subliminal messages taking place here, and I believe the enemy is trying to show us that uh, he is trying to control time, he's trying to control events, and he wants us to believe that he is in control of all these things, even in the past, the present, and the future, which we know that only Abba Yahweh, God Almighty himself, is the one who controls time, who controls this world, who controls all events. He is on the throne. But of course, the devil wants to play God, which he will never be able to do that. So as we look at this uh, television show, it's about an unlikely trio traveling through time to battle unknown criminals in order to protect history as we know it. You know, as soon as I saw Battling Unknown Criminals, I immediately thought of that movie Minority Report with Tom Cruise when they tried to predict future crimes. But this is, of course, along a different kind of uh, storyline. But as we keep going, I find it very interesting that right off the bat, it's quite obvious that their time machine is a giant eye. Okay, so they literally go into this thing and they travel in this machine that takes them to different eras and epochs of time. And of course, you know, one of the main meanings of the Illuminati all-seeing eye is that it's the idea of an omnipresent being watching over us as referenced in the Bible several times. And this also includes the biblical reference to the watchers, a.k.a. the Nephilim. They were the hybrid offspring of extraterrestrials who were called the sons of God in Genesis and the daughters of men at the time on earth. Okay, so as we look through this article, I'll leave it here. I'm not going to go through this. There's a lot of stuff to, uh, to go through in this article, but you can go through it for yourself. I'll leave links. But we see this eye symbolism as we have covered many times and spoken about many times in these videos that the all-seeing eye is in so many things. And we can see many people like Lady Gaga, Kim Kardashian, and many others constantly. Of course, good old Katy Perry, one of the uh, Illuminati uh, mistresses, I guess you could say, and so many others that constantly have this third eye or all-seeing eye in their videos, in their movies, and what have you. All right, so I'll leave that article for you to check out for yourself. But the all-seeing eye, interesting that the time machine is basically a, a huge giant eye. You know, and as we keep going, they have to flash, of course, uh, time, uh, oh, sorry, a period of time back in World War II with the Hindenburg and, of course, the good old Nazi flag that is there. And I believe we are constantly being shown this Nazi flag 
in so many movies. Even in the previous video I just did on Transformers and even others like Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, they constantly flash these uh, uh, periods of time that depict World War II and the Nazis. I believe they are cryptically trying to show us that one, that uh, the New World Order is coming very soon, uh, that they are showing us uh, in a cryptic way that it is about to rise up. Really, I believe the whole Nazi thing was just a, a precursor or a test for their New World Order. And I, another reason why I believe we constantly get shown the swastika is that it has nothing to do with Germany. The swastika is not a German or Nazi symbol. It is actually yet another form of the cross of Tammuz, okay, the sun cross or the symbol of the sun god as depicted here. Here's the cross that we know as even as Christians who use this symbol, even though to me it is not a Christian symbol at all. Uh, the Lord God, Abba Yahweh, and His Son, Yeshua, do not go by symbols. They go by their word, by their laws, and mostly by their name. It's the name of Jesus that we will bow to, not any kind of symbol. And interestingly enough, the uh, the I time machine also has a cross right on it. Okay, so again, this Mark of the Beast, Cross of Tammuz, whatever you want to call it, we are constantly being shown this. And of course, this is an article that I like to use a lot, and I will leave a link to this as explaining really what the cross is. It is nothing more than a pagan symbol, the Cross of Tammuz, representing the resurrection of Nimrod. It has nothing to do with Christ. So I would encourage you to please study this article. It is very interesting. It has a lot of information. This is the symbol, I believe, that Constantine was shown when he had his vision uh, being told to to him by fallen angels that you will conquer with this symbol so really the cross and the circle is nothing more than the sign of the sun god okay of Nimrod Tammuz Apollo whatever you want to call it that is exactly what we're constantly being shown here which I believe is one of the marks of the beast but again please research and look into this article for yourself I also find it interesting that uh, the word timeless this particular show in Gematria comes up even to the word nuclear now, you know, many of us who are watching what's going on in the world, we know that possibly a nuclear uh, strike is coming, even in videos like iPet Goat 2, where it shows a nuclear strike and the Antichrist rising from the ashes. We're constantly being shown in many movies like The Giver or Hunger Games or you know, many New World Order type movies, dystopian movies, where there was a big cataclysm and out of the ashes, you know, the order came or the, the solution came. So order out of chaos. So it's funny how this, this word timeless can come up to the word nuclear nuclear in Jewish gematria but what's also interesting is that this is uh, also to me pointing to CERN we know that CERN is definitely run uh, on, on nuclear energy it generates a lot of energy that is required to, to power this machine and interestingly enough we know that this time machine many people suspect that CERN is accomplishing time travel. I'm not going to say that for sure because I just don't know. But many people suspect that CERN is also being used to manipulate things, to, to change things and uh, travel through time. Who knows? I mean, only the elites and God Almighty knows what is truly going on. I believe that the Lord will never allow them to change things. But um, definitely there is something going on with CERN. I think there is a CERN connection here with this time machine, uh, and, which is definitely uh, used or sorry, using nuclear energy to do just that. But uh, another thing I found quite interesting is that when you look at the Gematria value, in a regular Gematria, simple Gematria equals to 102, which of course adds to 3. And uh, this number three is a very significant number in Illuminati numerology. If we go down in this article, which I'll leave a link, it says that number three, this is the number of royalty. It symbolizes the magical shape of the triangle. It symbolizes the Holy Trinity, which is Nimrod. I should say Holy Pagan Trinity, which is Nimrod, Semiramis, and Tammuz, or Osiris, Isis, and Horus, or Satan, Eve, and Cain. Whatever you want to call it, this number three is the Pagan Trinity in new, uh, sorry, Illuminati numerology or occult numerology. So what I find quite fascinating is just as we showed, I believe, in a video uh, in a previous of a previous television show. I can't remember the name of that show that we were breaking down, but there were three main characters. And of course, this uh, show also happens to have three main characters where you've got two men and a woman. So could it be that yet again, they are depicting Nimrod, Semiramis, and Tammuz right in this show. Nimrod, Semiramis, and Tammuz, the holy, the pagan, 
Holy Trinity is what I believe is being shown here. Because yet again, three characters, two men, one woman, sorry, one woman, could be that they are showing the pagan trinity. Another thing I found interesting is that uh, this one of the stars of this show, Abigail Spencer, she plays a character called Lucy. Now, I think we are being shown this name Lucy a lot, and it made me, you know, rang a bell with, of course, the movie Lucy, which was uh, starred Scarlett Johansson. We remember that she basically showed the apotheosis of a human being becoming like a god. She basically morphed into a computer and was controlling things and had all kinds of crazy power. And Lucy really is just another way of saying Lucifer, okay? And I found a great article that talked uh, or spoke about this very thing, you know, analyzing this film, Lucy. And what's fine, int what I find interesting is that Lucy says, I am God, watch me kill these guys, okay? And then she likes to uh, act like she is, like she's a deity, like she has all these powers. You know, this is exactly what Lucifer, the devil himself says, that he will be like God, that he will ascend to the Most High, that he will make his throne above the stars of God. This is exactly what Lucifer would say. So interestingly enough, this character is being played by Abigail Spencer just happens to have the name Lucy and this Lucy just of course happens to be you know another way of saying Lucifer so yet again you know we're seeing really in plain sight what is being shown to us and you know there's a scene in that trailer that you just saw of a company called Mason Industries now if that's not a dead giveaway to you I don't know what is I mean even the logo of this company has the all-seeing eye which is, of course, the people would think is just the time machine that they are, I guess, these people have manufactured. And so, you know, I don't know what else. To, there's not really anything to break down here. I mean, Mason just gives it all away. The Freemasons, there's nothing, you know, really left for the imagination here because they're pretty much showing you who is behind all these things, that the Freemasons, the Illuminati, the Jesuits, they are the ones that want to program us. They want us to get ready for these things, protect the past, save the future. It's, the you know, the devil... And the Watchers, his Watcher Fallen Angels, they believe that they are the ones that are controlling everything, but their end is coming very soon. And, you know, all this this talk of time travel and, and just time itself, it's yet again another uh, form of Satan, Kronos. Many of us have uh, spoken about this before, that Kronos was the king of the Titans and the god of time, in particular time when viewed as a destructive, all-devouring force. Okay, and I'll leave this article also for you to look at in further detail. But Kronos is yet another depiction of Satan, Baphomet, whatever you want to call him, Nimrod. It is all the same thing. I mean, Kronos was depicted, of course, in the Percy Jackson movies as, as uh, having to be resurrected. And, of course, he eats his own children. He is just a destructive force. And this is really what the devil wants to do. As the Bible says, he is a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. And so Kronos, to me, is just another depiction of Satan. You know, I believe even the devil himself worships time because he knows that his time is short. So it's interesting that one of his names is Time Kronos because even the elites, they worship Kronos, they worship time, they worship Satan. This is who they are truly worshiping. And you know, this whole talk of time travel, this has been shown to us over and over and over again in many movies. I believe probably one of the most groundbreaking films to ever show time travel was, of course, good old Back to the Future. I enjoyed this trilogy. It's a very entertaining and heartwarming uh, story. But of course, time travel was introduced to us many years ago, back in the 80s. I'm sure even before that, I'm, I'm very positive there were older movies that did the same thing. We've seen the same thing in Terminator. Of course, the recent one, Genesis, where he literally steps into the circular kind of machine, very similar to CERN, and he's able to go through different times. In fact, they even talk about alternate timelines. Same thing that happened in Back to the Future Part 2, where an alternate timeline was created because Biff stole the time machine and he gave himself that, that almanac that enabled him to, to place uh, bets on all the winners. And so, of course, an alternate timeline was created. So same thing happening in Terminator Genesis. Of course, we're being shown the same thing, of course, in Tomorrowland, where, again, alternate timelines, alternate realities, they're, they're scrolling through uh, different epochs and epics of time in that movie. So, yet again, we're being shown this time travel. Of course, who can forget Ghostbusters and good old Gozer, the villain from the first one. Of course, there was a remake of that recently, but Gozer also is a, is a character that travels through time, can take the shape of a, of a male or a female, and of course is a completely destructive force, just like Kronos. Okay, Kronos, Gozer, whatever you want to call it, it's all the same thing. It's just basically the devil that comes in different forms. And, you know, if we go to Job chapter 1, it will see that basically Satan is a wanderer. 
you know, when, uh, when God asked Satan from uh, Job 1 verse 3, that there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan also came among them. And the Lord said to Satan, From where do you come? So Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro on the earth, and from walking back and forth on it. So, really that's showing us that Satan is a wanderer, that he travels all over the place, he's looking for people to deceive, he's looking to accomplish his plans, his goals, he's looking to find the useful idiots that will forward his agenda, and so this is exactly what Satan wants. He is a traveler and he is looking for people who will join his rebellion against the Most High, all right? And really, I believe the goal of this entire of, of Satan's entire plan is to rewrite history and this is what is being shown even in this TV show I believe that was mentioned in the trailer that you just saw that they really want to rewrite history because what Satan really wants to do is he wants to change everything that Yeshua the Messiah has done for us because in his first coming he fulfilled the Passover he died on the Passover for us he was our Passover lamb he was put into the tomb his his sinless body as the unleavened bread he was raised on first fruits because sin could sin and death and hell could not hold him and then he gave his Holy Spirit on Pentecost and the devil wants nothing more than to change those things he wants to rewrite history so that he can control this world so that he can keep people in bondage but thank the Lord that he has sent his son Yeshua to die for us to save us that we have hope and a future because of what Jesus Christ has done for us and you know just to bring it back to the word again Isaiah 46 verse 10 clearly says, declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure because the Lord God, Abba Yahweh, he is the only one that is in control of time, of this world, of the universe. He is the one that is in control. The devil wants to make people believe that he is in control, but he will just never, ever be in control. So don't fall for his lies. He wants people to think that he has all these powers, that he can control time, that he can change events, that he can rewrite history. But that is just never going to happen. He is the deceiver. And, you know, as time goes on, we can see that the great deception is coming real soon and that uh, the people of uh, the people of the devil are rising up the satan's kingdom is rising but at the same time you know in a positive aspect the kingdom of god the kingdom of yahweh his people are also rising up and waking up and i'm so thankful for all of you who are seeing these things for yourselves who are researching who are investigating and who know that satan is a deceiver and that he cannot program those who are awake we can see right through these things when we have the Holy Spirit, that when Yeshua gave us his Holy Spirit at Pentecost, if we have the Holy Spirit in us, we have the Word of God, if we are relying on Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ, and his, and his Father, Abba Yahweh, and our Holy Spirit, his Holy Spirit, I should say, we can see through the lies, and he will always be the one. That, is the, that has declared the end from the beginning. Only God the Father knows all of these things. He knows all. And He is in control. He is on the throne. So I thank you for checking out this video. I encourage you to join our Facebook group. You can uh, come and have some awesome conversation. Uh, it's an open-minded place, a safe place for people to, to share information. You know, there's just so much of uh, attacks from people who try to post things on their personal Facebook page and they get so attacked. So one of the main purposes for this group is for you to be able to share information and discuss things in a safe environment. So I welcome you to join us if you are a person that has an open mind. So I thank you again for checking out this video. Please be aware of what is being shown to us in plain sight. God bless you. Ground breaking, change is taking place. Go. Oh,